Happy Friday and good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. Oh, James. Beating up Winnie the Pooh and Gang. Isn't this TV stand amazing? I'll get the name of it later, but the company doesn't exist. I think it went out in the 90s. But it's a beautiful piece of like heavy, wonderful furniture. Probably at least 50 years old. There might be a date burned into it. But we're going to get a new TV that we're going to actually hang on the wall. So there's like nothing on here except for decorative things. But this is the piece that I went to go pick up a week before we moved. So we never really got to show you show you. Look at this. We got like, she's cooking dinner and she's editing a vlog all at the same time. trying to make it happen. Guess what we just got a park pass for? Magic Kingdom. Yes! He beat her in his phone and his hands. This is the most awkward time I've ever. We were gonna just like go into. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Snack whoa. alert. Wow, you found a snack? Yeah, you're right. That is more healthy than the Cocoa Puffs. So if you did not know, there is a big change coming to the park reservation system for annual pass holders. I think the 18th or the 19th of this month, mid-April, after 2 p.m., you do not need a park pass to get into whatever park you want to. So typically 2 p.m. would be the time to hop, um, but you would need a park pass to at least start the day. So that's what we were going to do today. We were gonna hop into Hollywood Studios and then leave and go to Magic Kingdom to see Enchantment for our last night tonight. But Peter was able to grab one. But that is a big deal. I think Saturdays you need a park pass for Magic Kingdom. I think that's Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays. Magic Kingdom, you do need a park pass for even if you're just going in the evening. But that's a huge deal. But it was just like two weeks too short where we really want to see Enchantment one last time, but we weren't able to get a Magic Kingdom Park Pass today. So that's fabulous news because then we can go straight there. So I shared the other day that we've been making these meals from this TikTok series. Um, a creator made that was like five meals under $50. So I will link the TikTok below, but I'm making this like one pot sausage quinoa thing tonight sauteed up the sausage, toast in some quinoa, and then we're just gonna add in some veggies and some spices, but just like a simple, delicious, hearty meal all in one pot. All right, and my quinoa is all cooked. Added in some veggies, some corn, some diced tomatoes, a little bit of jardiner, and some spinach. I'm gonna stir that up and add the sausage back. And then I added in soy sauce, salt, pepper, garlic, oregano. Um, I have this like, Galena Street rub. I don't even know what that is from. It's from the Penzi brand that I've used before. Um, and I just threw a little bit of that on top too. So, it smells super good. We're gonna eat and get out of here. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna make a little salad too. editing the vlog right now so I'm hanging out with the boys we are ending our night at Magic Kingdom to watch Enchantment for the very last time and we ran into our friends Mark and Carrie who have a channel Magical Family Travels and they're actually family of the wonderful Earhart clan so it was great seeing them running into them to my surprise I think they're going out to dinner tonight here they informed me because they're way better than know that tonight is the official ending of the 50th anniversary didn't know it 
So check out their, their channel, much more informative and enjoyable than ours. You should go give them a follow and a like and check out their videos. Comment on their videos and say, we sent you. Um, but I'm gonna check out this, the Grand Cottage, established in 2022. There's something called the Hot Cross Buns that I think I might get and snack on with these kids here. While we wait for mom to finish up working on the vlog. I will say there is a pianist performing right now, but he is wonderful. Yes, but he is not Wes. I cannot wait to see Wes, our favorite cast member, pianist. Look how cute this cottage is. It's got a wonderful sweets and treats. I think that's a hot cross bun on top, and that's what we'll be getting. All right, we got the guava sweet cream roll. Do you guys want this? <laughs> James, you have to share that with your brother, okay? Jamesy. <laughs> you see the bunny? Wow. Say hi. Sarah's done editing. Yes. And we're gonna it's make our way eventually. Oh. Eventually? It is glorious. So we're eventually gonna make our way to the Magic Kingdom. celebration but it's cool to be here for the last night i think that's cool yeah it is we got some popcorn teddy's happy should we go on people mover <gasps> wow you see that you see the, the rockets inside your car and please supervise younger beings stay clear of the doors which will open and close automatically I think there's gonna be really cool local businesses and faraway businesses that the statues are donated to. That'd be cool. But I wanna 
like soak them in. All right, we're taking a scenic route around Fantasyland, a little bit of Liberty Square, to backtrack to the hub to find a nice spot to watch Enchantment for the last time. Wow. It's like there's there's something extra magical in the air. Maybe it's happily ever after brewing. <laughs> it's in the it's seeping into the air. Uh -huh. We we are fans of Enchantment, yeah. but we are very excited for happily ever yeah, after. Yeah, to me wishes happily ever after Enchantment. Pretty stupendous spot for our last viewing of Enchantment. We're about 30 minutes away. Champion Parenthood right here. Fresh bottle bopping away before the fireworks. sleeping in Disney World like I wish I could be. I mean, just pacing back and forth at Storybook Circus with my baby snoozing on me like an angel and my best friend running around with my other baby running on Dumbo and Ariel and just having a blast. You can see his little feet scurrying around like crazy. So Teddy is asleep on Peter. Um, so James and I are going on like the five minute wait time rides in Fantasyland. Except for right now, he's just kind of like, like in a run around. He's tall enough for Barnstormer. And I'm doing some heavy debate in my head if I'm going to see if he wants to go on it. Alrighty, we opted for Dumbo. No Barnstormer tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think long and hard about it. A little bit more 50th golden statue appreciation with Goofy and Pluto. We're gonna go look at them all. Dad gets more popcorn before we head out. Kids are asleep. It's super late. We just ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. 
they were good sandwiches. They were. We got like really thick bread. They were. It is good to be home. <laughs> good morning. So glad you're here. If you the vlogs, if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. It's early. 8.17. And this is not a... <laughs> it's not an April Fool's joke. I do have my running stuff on. Today begins our new 30 for 30. If you're not part of our Facebook group, we're doing 30 days of activity in a row. 30 minutes each day. I'm changing it to doing a 5K every day with the exception of... Thank you. ...of uh, Springtime Surprise at Run Disney. And I'd like to point out that today ends the longest streak of not working out or running since I think I became a runner. Since you haven't ran since the marathon? I, I think I've run once since the marathon in January. So let's change that today and not let that happen again. All right, everybody. Oh gosh, tripping over everything. Sarah's getting ready real quick because Evie girl is getting a haircut and a little spa treatment today. So today is not a Disney World day. So if you're here for that vlog, Come back a different day. I hope you stick around though, because it's still going to be a great day. Um, today is 70% responsibility, 30% fun. As I'm pacing here, and Sarah always reminds me to not pace so much because the shots can be sickening and dizzying. Uh, what do you look like looking at me like that for? Um, we're going to bring Eve to get a haircut. When we drop her off, we're going to go to Home Goods and some other places. We need some things. We need garbage can people. All right, we've just been living in garbage bags. We need a garbage can. We need a couple other things. And then the entire daytime period of today is going to be filled with opening boxes, putting stuff away. We have like some furniture that we purchased that I have to put together. Tonight, the fun part of today, which is kind of selfish um, because it's only fun for me. I mean, Sarah's gonna hang out with the boys and have a lot of fun because, Teddy, you're the funnest kid around. <laughs> you and your brother. Um, I am actually going to an Orlando City soccer game with some people from work. Um, I think, I forget, I don't know if it's like an arrangement with my company in Orlando City, Orlando City or if we, if the company still owns a box. But I will be going and meeting up with my boss and some other people from the company to enjoy the Orlando City game tonight. You see that light fixture? So that'll be tonight, um, but first, responsibilities. First stop of our day is to drop Eve off to get groomed at Wolfgang. Yeah, Mickey. <laughs> get Mickey, get Mickey. Get that Mickey, get that Mickey. Breaking news alert for the Brookhart Project. We're not Disney vloggers anymore. We're Shop With Us vloggers. We're taking on the infamous Katie Vining. She had a baby. She's not gonna shop anymore on YouTube. She's washed up. Where's she like scrolled up? <laughs> She's washed up and we're taking her followers. Come along. Our main priority today is a garbage can for the kitchen. This is where we got our other one that we loved, but it just had seen its time. I think I like this one. We also need a couple little ones for around the house. Jamesy's joined me in the cart. <gasps> Are you wowed by everything here like I am? I'm a little overwhelmed. There's just so much cute stuff and I have a long list, but like, I feel like we need to <laughs> regroup and prioritize what we're gonna get. You got your eggs, hold them tight. <laughs> we're gonna get some chocolate eggs. Okay, so we regrouped and we're gonna focus on storage and towels today. So we got some storage for our pantry. Um, we did get this little diffuser thing for a bathroom. Um, yeah, we're gonna go get some more more towels. Alrighty, time to pick up Evie girl. Evers, <laughs> look how good you look. You new woman. Here's the Evie girl with a fresh do. And here's a Jamesy and a Teddy too. We're doing avocado toast for lunch and then naps all around. All right, we made some progress. We got the shelves up. They're in, in relatively the right spot. They're not anchored yet, so I can't unpack them. But here is a little coffee island that we're gonna refinish the top of. And then the kitchen table is gonna go here. And then there's gonna be a play area here. And then we actually have two new like shoe, shoe container things. They're gonna go right there to kind of make a divide to the front shoe area. That's all gonna be shifted towards the front door. And this will be act like a hallway. We still have so many boxes to go through. I'm furious. Sarah's really mad at Martha Stewart or at Home, Home Goods. Good. 
I had just finished editing the vlog, and so I unloaded our bags, and I was gonna like take off all the stickers, and I love that sort of stuff, and get them in the cabinets. And it's gonna be like a project. Like, I just don't understand. I think the you could. Exists. You could soak them in water, and maybe they'll just like slide off if you soak them for a little while. I'm just trying to help you out. You know, but I know that there's a way. I know, like, I actually got a lot of tips when I expressed my anger about stickers recently. The kids also have been taking a phenomenal nap, both of them, and so Sarah was able to edit the vlog and get that up and live. This is what Sarah's talking about, her frustrations. We've got all these containers because we don't want, we want to put everything in a container. So like if Eve has treats, those are going in a container. We open up a, a cereal, that's going to get taken out of the bag and poured into one of these containers. Um, bugs and nature are a real thing here in Florida. So we want to mitigate any of that. And also because that's a lot closer and just a little closing pantry door, Eve can smell the food. And she's a very loud dog when it comes to food. It runs of the course that she is our dog because we love food and so does Eve so um, that's what we kind of have to do plus it helps keep everything organized and clean and and, and looking great and fresh um, I actually Sarah's gonna order pizza to, for pickup that I'm gonna go get um, because I will be leaving here in the next 40 ish minutes to go to my friend's house to meet up before we go to the Orlando City game tonight Teddy's awake he's having a baba we got somebody feed Phil on. I'm having Caesar salad. Like Peter said, we ordered some food. I talked before about the groceries I ordered and the like five dinners under $50. I was like really focusing on that when I grocery shopped the other day and forgot like just kind of like the in between, not necessarily snacks, but just like lit. I, I got a few more things. I got mostly like the boys lunch stuff and that and that's like what was on my mind. But we need to do like a true grocery haul still and that's why after we had this productive morning I kind of threw my hands up in the air and was like let's just order something we got mozzarella sticks I saved those two for James I got that salad this little cheese pizza for James Peter had a slice on his way out and I got a stromboli for myself it's got like meatballs and other stuff inside of it and ever since I've been mad about those stickers it's put me in a sour mood Things haven't been going right. I've been trying to order a few things I wanted, like a shower curtain and these glasses. And I've just found like a hiccup everywhere I turn. Then I took a bite, the first bite, I got pizza sauce on my clothes. So Peter's like, when James wakes up, you better have a dance party <laughs> so that you can feel <laughs> joy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my food because that also brings me joy be with my babes and turn my night around. All right, here we go. We are at the Travel and Leisure Box. They got some empanadas, food and drinks. What's your little brother doing? cute hat my friend got me for Teddy so adorable um, it was a lot of fun running the game they lost 2-0 but um, it was still a fun time I've heard I've always since so I started working for my company in 2017 and they've had a box at um, the Orlando City Stadium this whole time and this was the first time look at my hair what's going on with that first time um, I got a chance or opportunity to go to a game in the box so that was really cool Hopefully uh, it won't be another five years before I get to go back, because that was a lot of fun. Just talking to some people, meeting new people, hanging out with old friends, um, while enjoying a great snacker game. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off just in case Sarah is asleep upstairs. 
So it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>